to the penultimate game of the Brain Masters Tournament here at the Brain Little Trivia Podcast. I am your ho... I am your MC Davo. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What's going on here? Wait a second. I thought... This was the Trivia with Buds podcast. And, uh, oh, I remember now. April Fools, everybody. It's me, your pal Ryan Buds. Thanks for checking out this very special April Fools Day episode of the show, which today is not actually my show. I participated in a great little podcast switcheroo with my friend Moxie, who kind of set up this uh, this great little switcheroo where a bunch of different trivia podcast hosts switch feeds for the day. So today you're going to hear Davo from the Brain Ladle Trivia Podcast, along with all his pals, going over six categories and four questions each with a final question based on a single topic. The show is about an hour long, so it's a lot longer than my normal show, and there's a lot of conversation amongst the trivia, so it is very different. I want you to enjoy it, and uh, make sure you check out the Brain Ladle podcast. You can find them at brainladle.com or at ladlebrain on social media. That is David Lacey and the crew at Brain Ladle Productions. They upload their show every Tuesday, so make sure you listen every single week, and again, check it out, Brain Ladle Productions and brainladle.com. And thanks again to my friend Moxie at Your Brain on Facts, Your Brain on Facts, who helped set up this podcast, Switcheroo, which is a uh, a ton of fun and super happy to be a part of it. Go listen to uh, an episode from me on the Brain Ladle podcast feed. And uh, without any further ado, let's jump into this episode of the Brain Ladle podcast. With me, we have Kales. Hey, you guys. We have Andy. <laughs> Hello, little brainers. And we have the sensei, the master of disaster, Neil. Hey, everybody. What are we doing, Neil? Let's play some trivia. Hey. Each week we have a theme, and in that theme we've got six categories of four questions each. Each question is worth up uh, 10 points with a few bonus points thrown in here and there, and a final question which is worth up to 100 points. And as Davo mentioned, we are on game seven of our eight-game Brain Masters tournament. Standing so far are, uh, well, with uh, the way we scored is each each first place win gets a uh, player three points, second place two points, and first place one point. After s- uh, six games, Kells has 15, Davo 11, and Andy 10. Do you believe in miracles? You'd have to figure out a way for Kells to get negative points for you to pull this win out, Andy. That would be a miracle. <laughs> okay. I'm feeling good, though. I'm, I'm feel, I feel like tonight's my night. I've been, uh, I've been stretching before the show. There I'm excited go. to be here. There you go. Was that under doctor supervision? Because <laughs> I know oh, you no, haven't no. done that recently. My, <laughs> <laughs> my trainer said i'm fine my trainer said i'm good to go i'm in i'm in the best shape i've ever been there's no way tom brady can win this game at his age i'm convinced we're going to win this playoff game tonight sounds like you have trump's doctor you're in the best shape you've ever been if that shape is a rhombus <laughs> Just laugh it up rhombus <laughs> Tonight's oh my, my night. Laugh it out. <laughs> Cinderella story. Because this is a because this is a brain masters tournament. One of our categories is the bonus category, where each question is worth an extra five points. So uh, we've got to randomly select that that category with our handy random number generator. Huh? Aha! Uh-huh. Interesting. Okay. Now I know what category is the bonus category. You guys don't, mm. but it's the last one. Oh, oh boy. Okay. No so don't let me forget. Drama. Okay. Bum, bum, bum. Category one is. What do you What's think? What's the Andy? topic? Do we oh, have a topic? Yeah, maybe? you want to know the topic? <laughs> I would love Trains to. Trains the Beatles Road in American history. Mm. No. The topic is bones. 
Bones. Bones. Bones. Mm. That a bone, daddy. <laughs> so every Did you question. Say big daddy, Devo. Oh God. I said bone, oh. daddy. I'm never oh. saying big daddy again. I like the you way you did. answer, big daddy. Oh my oh, god. god. Can Andy get negative points? Uh, he's on his way, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, not that it really matters right now. <laughs> he didn't even have to throw that in there. It was... <laughs> I didn't have to, but it Physical felt good. Physical form. It felt good. Ready to go. It was a dash of paprika right there. Just, <laughs> uh, chef's kiss. <laughs> All right. Uh, Category one in Bones is movies. Movies. Don't worry. Science is coming. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> is that a forbidding movie quote? <laughs> science, Never fear, is science is on the way. <laughs> All right, movies. Question one What 2001 horror movie starring Snoop Dogg and Pam Greer was a box office flop, but is now considered a bit of a cult classic? Locked in. Locked in. What? <laughs> Snoop Dogg and Pam Greer. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Only knew one person that owned this movie. Pam Greer. <laughs> no, nah, my my dad was a huge Snoop Dogg fan. Mm-hmm. So if Snoop Dogg was in it or on it. He he owned it. Probably. <laughs> it's gonna get be a long night. Let me going. get that pap to open up. <laughs> <laughs> It's just one question, Davo. Oh, God. Uh, I'm locked in. All right. Let's start with Kells. Bones. Okay, Davo, what's your answer? I said roll them bones because I had no idea the answer would just be bones because that seems unfair. <laughs> well, I wanted to start with an easy one, Andy. Bones. <laughs> it is bones. That one, easy one. It's so easy. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Yeah. It's you one kinda, question, Babo. You kind of joined angry tonight, you know? You've kind of. <laughs> no, just, just you want a minute just a little salt. to take a breath? Just and, a little salt. Dude, I'm fine. Let's do this. <laughs> <laughs> All right, question two. What 2009 movie was based on a novel by Alice Siebold? Locked in. I'm locked in with a guess. That's what this is. Locked in. All right. Devo. The Bone Collector. Andy. Skeletor, Secret of the Femur. And tells. <laughs> <laughs> I said The Lovely Bones. Correct answer is The Lovely Bones. <sighs> it's all fine. <laughs> Uh, question three. The fanfare from Strauss's Also Break Zarathustra, and I'm sure I mispronounced that, was used in an iconic thematic scene in what movie? Locked in. I don't even know what we're talking about anymore. Um, this must be how Davo feels because now I'm getting angry. <laughs> <laughs> um, That's my secret, Andy. I'm always, <laughs> I'm always angry. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. All right. Gotta think. Gotta think. Gotta think. Orchestral scene. Bones. I. I'm bringing in Ray Guy. I got nothing. <laughs> All right. You gonna be mad? <sighs> gonna I, be I wish mad. I, I should have gotten a clip of this, and then you would have known it instantly. Mm -hmm. So, Andy is punting. Now, Ray Guy comes in for his first punt of the day. Kick is away. There's a high, twisting, hang time spiral. Let's go out of order and see if Davo has it. I think it's 2001. Kels? Oh, all my wrestling fans out there know this as Ric Flair's entrance music. But I almost put that as an easy mode. <laughs> it is 2001 A Space Odyssey Oh yeah I am it's, mad It's the scene when the ape 
or the the moon yep. man, moon monkey, or whatever they call him. Mm-hmm. It's the bone and picks it up and starts beating up moon his monkey, baby. <laughs> <laughs> yep, you're right. I'm angry now. <laughs> I told you. All right. And question four. What actor whose films have grossed over $2.5 billion has broken multiple fingers and toes, both cheekbones, hips, sternum, neck, ankle, and ribs during doing his own stunts in various movies? Locked in. Um, I'm going to, yeah, I'm going to erase my original answer and go with this one just by the sheer amount of money. I'm locked in. <sighs> it's not what you think. I don't think. If, you, I'm if locked, you're thinking, I'm locked yeah. in. I think. Who? Okay. What are you saying, Davo? I kind of just went with the with the obvious. Uh, that's what so I was starting I, to write until yeah, I heard if, how if, much if it's money. You think if it's who you think it is, I'm going to be surprised. He's he's broken that many bones, and they've let him continue doing what he does. That's see. That's where that's where my as my mental conflict is. I know this one guy gets beat the hell up in his movies, mm-hmm. and they both do their own stunts. But I'm mm-hmm. very interested to find out if I'm right or not. All right, is everybody locked in? Yep, I'm ready to go. Let's start with Kells. I was starting out. I, I wrote down JA because I was about to write Jackie Chan. And then I was like, I I know I love Jackie Chan, but I don't know if his movies have grossed that much. So I went with Tom Cruise instead. Okay. Deva? Jackie Chan is what I wrote down. Jackie Chan is is in movies for over 40 years. Mm. And China is a big, big country. Smart. Yeah. I ain't even look at it that way. Andy? Yeah, I... uh... I, I had the same kind of question between the two of them, um, but I went with Tom Cruise. Interesting. Well, the correct answer is Jackie Chan. Oh, <laughs> man. Good point. Yep. Well, I knew, I, I'm like Kells. I knew Tom Cruise is famous for, for being a really physical guy and doing his own stunts, but I couldn't imagine he was that beat up. Yeah. Looking at it, it was, I felt like I would have heard about Did you say broken pelvis? Yeah. He, I mean, he broke almost everything. Yeah. Yikes. Yeah, at different there was times. A, one of his most dangerous stunts, I think it was in Super Cop. They, uh, he was supposed to slide down the, yeah. this wire that was like Christmas lights, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, but they, they were supposed to hook him up to a low power, just like, like a Duracell, just like, just for power. Mm-hmm. And uh, they hooked it up to a 220 line. Oh. <laughs> And if he had hit one of the lights just right, he would have electrocuted himself and died. He hikes. So we they could have lost Jackie Chan. China. <laughs> <laughs> Keep they they chance. just do not care. <laughs> it's like, hey, we need a crash pad. Here's 15 boxes, 15 cardboard boxes in a pile. There's your crash pad. <laughs> <laughs> After round one, Andy has 10 points. Woo-hoo. Hey. Davo has 20 and Kells has 30. 20 right. Kells. Through. So I am right behind them. Cinderella story. <laughs> it's anybody's game. It's anybody's, anybody's game. game. Come back, kid. That's what they call me, the comeback kid. Nobody's ever called you that. No. <laughs> At the buffet, they've called you that. <laughs> <laughs> it's the wrongness. <laughs> It's the wrong. I am at <laughs> I am at my peak physical form. I am ready to go. Have you ever gone to into a buffet and had them hide the gravy? You know what? That's just me. <laughs> that is just me. That was a little Mrs. Dash on that one. <laughs> just a like smidge. <laughs> you know, I will. Oh, oh, that's the perfect form. Uh-oh. Are you okay? You know, I might have, I might have pulled a hamstring on that one. Uh-oh. Are you kidding Andy, me? You're, you're oh. not, you're not serious. Ow! You're sitting down. Did you pull your hamstring? <sighs> Can you Are continue? Are you on the treadmill? <sighs> you know what? I'm gonna have to make a call to the bullpen. Oh. <laughs> I'm ready, Coach. I'm ready. Oh, thank God. What? <laughs> what is happening? 
I guess well, we have hello, a substitution fellas. on the field. Hey. Hi. <laughs> Allison here. You? I well, from the screaming crowd behind me. <laughs> <laughs> so pretty yeah. great is what you say. <laughs> I'm uh, I'm doing great. Good. A little busy, a little busy these days. Oh sure. Yeah. Oh, by the way, Davo, I have an update for you. Yeah. Okay. I uh, uh, I have created a suitable friend for Simon. I birthed a oh. nine pound eight ounce baby Luke, who wow. is just nice. ready for the big boys league. Isn't that like ten percent of your body weight? Yes. Excellent. <laughs> yes, it is. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's outstanding. I am yeah. so ready to miss this question for Andy. Right. <laughs> I'm going to be on the bench here working with the trainers. Thank you. All right. Well, I guess we're moving on to category two with the substitution on the field with uh, category two is television. Question oh, one. Oh. Who played Temperance Bones Brennan PhD on the TV series Bones? <laughs> Nine this is seasons, TNT, I think. Right. Bones? I don't know. I'm locked in. Yep, locked in. Sorry, Andy. Uh, no, you got this. <laughs> um, <laughs> I'm just trying to think of somebody. All right, I'm locked in. 12 seasons from 2005 to 2017, and you guys have no idea. I, well, it, it helps <laughs> oh, if I you know. watch it. Oh, okay. I'm with it. All right, David. I'm on it. Why don't you start us off? It is Emily Deschanel. Andy uh, uh, Allison? <laughs> oh, I like Andy Allison. What a great name. Good word. Um, Al- and Allison? <laughs> well, I knew it was a lady with reddish brownish hair. So I went with Julia Roberts, as that is another lady with reddish brownish hair. <laughs> and I'm back, boys. Oh, we've missed this. Yes. <laughs> no, real quick before we move on, because I don't know how many questions I'll sub for, but the other day I was listening, you know, just fresh off of a C-section, listening to my, my fellow... Uh, podcasters and I heard and Allison got fourth ten times <laughs> and I was like oh yep <laughs> it's awkward to say stuff like that without without sounding uh, mean and you know I don't ever want to sound mean so no never except, once except no. sometimes Kel, uh, Davo I like Kel's though <laughs> Hey. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, Kells, did you have an answer to this question? I had one. It's wrong. Um, yeah. Allison, I like the way you played it with an actual actress. I didn't take it serious at all. And I wrote down Eleanor Roosevelt. Interesting. <laughs> well, it is, uh, in fact, Zoe's big sister, oh. Emily Deschanel. Oh. I can Didn't see know her face. Okay. Mm, yeah. Okay. All right. Well, Andy, Push. do you yeah. want me to take another one, or did you did you get no, your four I, zone I'm, shot? The, the trainers are still working on me, so if you can take at least one more. Oh dear God! All right, here we go. <laughs> this is the one, Allison. This has got Allison's name written all over it. <laughs> Question two: What was the first what did name Luke have for dinner? <laughs> <laughs> Milk. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> Question two. What was the first name of the character uh, Bones McCoy on the original Star Trek? Um. <laughs> What's happening? <laughs> so there was a Locked show in? called Star Trek. <laughs> and one of the characters was named Bones McCoy. But I want to know what his act, what the character's actual first name is. And I'm locked in. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm locked in too. Uh, Davo, you don't notice? Just off jump. I know it, but it's it's struggling it's, right it's now. It's buried in there. I, I it's think buried. this is right, but I'm not sure. 
I, uh, yeah. I